on, welcome back. And this is another anime review. Another one that ended recently for the spring of 2014. This is a slice of life moe anime, yeah. It's called, uh, Gochuma wa Usagi desu ka, or Is the Order a Rabbit? <clears throat> Oh boy. This, now, there's not a whole lot to really talk about this anime because it's fairly standard, even though it was really awesome. So, this might be a really short review. I am going to try to make it, make it as long as I can, though. Directed by Hiroyuki Hashimoto, written by Kazuyuki Fudeyasu, and music by Ruka Kau Kawada, and it's by Studio White Fox. Hmm. Interesting. I know they did Steins Gate, which I'm currently watching through, but huh. And originally ran from April 10, 2014 to June 26, 2014, with a total of 12 episodes in the end. Okay, so pretty much this anime is very standard. It's a standard slice of life moe anime. Alright. Kokowa Hoto moves into a new town app to attend school. There she begins living with Chino Kafu at her family's rabbit house cafe, working as a waitress to pay for her accommodation. Yep, that's pretty much it. Um, so really, if you, the only way you'll actually like this anime is if you like Moe comedies, which I'm kind of split on them, like, we have garbage like fucking lucky star and then we have gems like this that which I actually thought was really good and really funny and I found myself liking every single character um probably my favorite character in this series was uh Rize Ted Deza who's one of the waitresses at the rabbit house. She's the daughter of a soldier and she has a very disciplined military-like personality. Yeah. However, she is also very kind. She's basically obsessed with guns. That's her gimmick and it's fucking awesome because I'm also obsessed with guns. I don't really have a military history family, but I'm also obsessed with guns. So that's pr pretty much why she's my favorite character. This is one of the anime where you're likely to find at least one character that you like. I, granted, like I said, I liked them all myself, but Rize, Rize was just my favorite one. It didn't, doesn't mean I didn't like them all, could because I did. Um, <clears throat> the animation, however, isn't that great <laughs> at all, but that's pretty standard for this type of series. Okay, the animation's never great, too good in these types of series, so I kind of expected that going into it. So, I'm not too disappointed here, but it is definitely worth mentioning. The art is very moe. I mean, you can't really get past that. Um, the music is pretty much standard as well, although there were some pretty catchy tunes. Especially that opening. It was amazing. Seriously, I fucking love that opening song. And the ending song was pretty damn good, too. Whew well and of course really the main attraction of the series though is either the for some the moe or for some the comedy or for some both me for me personally it's really the uh comedy okay i'm not really i don't really i mean i'm okay with moe but i don't really get attached to it like some people do for me it's really the comedy and this series was fucking hilarious now i can't really talk about that in depth because at its core humor is 100 percent subjective so you might not think this series is funny. And if you don't like these types of series in general, you probably won't think it's funny, so you're probably going to avoid it anyways, okay? Really, this, I recommend this series, but it's a recommendation that's purely for people who like this type of series, obviously. If you don't, then you probably already know that. You probably already know you're not gonna like it. Um, 
if I were to pick a second favorite character, though, just to get this review out a little bit longer, I'd probably choose Chino. She's the granddaughter of the Rabbit House's owner, a soft-spoken girl who slowly warms up to Cocoa, though is often annoyed by her insistence on being called Big Sister. Along with her father, she is the only one who knows the secret concerning Tippy and her grandfather, named after Cappuccino. Yeah, she's definitely my second favorite character. But, anyways, though, I think I'm going to wrap up this review, though, because, like I said, it's going to be a really short review because there's not really a whole lot to say about this type of a series. I just wanted to make a video to get it out there because it recently ended and I feel like feel like I should review it because of that. Like I said before, these types of series are really hit or miss with me and this one thankfully was hit. It impressed me a lot. So yes, but anyways, overall hope you enjoyed this review guys. Jeez after guys, thanks for watching. Bye bye.